everybody's telling you make a list, make a to-do list, have some goals in mind. But nobody's talking about how important it is to not have a list and just move off vibes. <laughs> now, if you're just hearing this, if you never heard somebody say this, it's probably gonna sound crazy to you because like literally, if you look around self-help, self-improvement, everywhere is gonna tell you, build discipline, build consistency, build a routine, keep that routine. That's never worked for me. While I do understand that having a routine is something that's very important and I'm actually working on one now to have at least some kind of routine and model to my life. I've never vibed like that. And maybe it's due to my upbringing, maybe it's due to me being ADHD, whatever it is. I've always had some kind of issue with doing the same thing day in and day out, same time, everything like that, because I feel like it stifles my creativity. And it also feels like it's like sheltered, like it's keeping me like trapped, like in this thing, I can't break out of this mode. It's always made me feel like I can't be my true self because my true self, my inspiration comes from spur of the moment decisions. My whole life and some of the best decisions that I've made in my life are from spur moment decisions. And with my car rental business, I started a business in March of 2021. I never forget. I wasn't even working for what, seven, eight months out of school with my new mechanical engineering degree making about 65K a year, we eating good. I know at the time I was making 72. I remember I ain't got a pay raise, I was making 72K. Mind you, just back in 2021, I was a 21 year old making 72K. I was like, what the fuck? Like I'm making good money, this is good money. But it wasn't fulfilling. It wasn't what I wanted to do. I knew at the end of the day, I never wanted to be an employee for the rest of my life. I never wanted to be at any point, but I never wanted to be an employee for my whole life because that's not me. Again, with the routine, working a nine to five every day, Monday to Friday, they tell you when you can eat, they tell you when you can go, when you have to come into office, they can tell you when you get off, stuff like that. That's not me. And when I quit my job, I took out personal loans, I took out like six or seven car loans, I took out money from my 401k, all that stuff like that, and I decided to go and start my business. And while that business ultimately failed, the lessons that I learned are priceless because I learned something important about the relationship between consistency and spontaneity. Spontaneity is important when you're making creative decisions or you're doing things that drive you further in your life because in a moment's notice, your intuition is gonna kick in. I know you have that voice in your head. I know you have that feeling in your body when you're about to do some shit you know you're not supposed to be doing. When you're about to talk to that person you know you shouldn't be talking to, you're about to waste your time again. You know you're about to eat that food you know you shouldn't be eating. You know it's gonna fuck you up like it did last time, but you do it anyway. So whenever you go against that thing, you literally feel it, like you feel some kind of pain, you feel some kind of ache in your body or in your mind, you like, I know I should have did that shit. <laughs> I can tell you I've done that more times than I can count because it will be so many moments when I would just act rash, quote unquote, and then have to live with the consequences of that. But on the flip side of that, I feel that when we're so locked in with the consistent routine or anything like that, it stifles my creativity because it doesn't allow me to make those kinds of mistakes because doing something new is the only way you're gonna make a mistake. The reason a lot of times I've not failed in my life and I've stayed safe in my life is because I wasn't doing new stuff consistently enough. We have to do new stuff consistently. We have to add spontaneity and room for growth and room for new experiences in our life. We don't do that enough. Now, are you a person who thrives off discipline and routine and structure? Maybe, I don't know. Because I do have to also realize everyone isn't like me. But if you are like me, nine times out of 10, you are if you're watching this video, you're gonna understand how important it is for you to let yourself breathe and let yourself live and not be so forceful on yourself. I didn't brush my teeth at 7 a.m. I didn't wake up at 5 a.m. and read. Because I know I also used to try to force myself to be someone who follow routines and be consistent when that's not me. And all these self-help books and all the podcasts and everything will say, you need to be consistent. Stop being lazy. Stop being lazy. That's not how my brain works. I'm neurodivergent. That's not how my brain works. All my life, I've been told this certain thing until I got old enough and realized, wait, this person did this to be where they wanted to be. This person did this. I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm going to form my own version of it. Now, are there certain aspects of success that everybody has to go through? Absolutely. Sacrifice. Staying locked in on something long enough to see results, putting in enough effort and improving with the effort upon each time that you do it. Of course, there's certain things that you're going to have to do to be successful and get to where you want to go in life. Absolutely. But everybody has their own method to their madness. And that's exactly what I'm learning right now is that right now I'm making this video. I was literally sitting down watching TV. This video idea just came from me picking up my camera and just looking at it. 
I post on TikTok and Instagram. I've been doing that for the past couple of years. And my best videos have been the videos where I just literally had a random thought. I just put my phone up and just start talking. Because my brain doesn't work off a of schedule. My brain works off of how I feel in that moment. My body knows what I need in each moment. My body knows what needs to get out of each moment. And yours does too. But it's your job to listen to it. It's your responsibility to do what you need to do to hear yourself when you're talking to yourself. Because the reason you might not be where you want to be is because you're not listening to yourself enough. So just keep listening to yourself and try new shit. And tell me how you feel about it. I guarantee you're going to feel better.